What's good with y'all? It's Cameron in the video. Straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. And let's hop right into the video, man. So look, the hardest things require sacrifices. The hardest choices require the strongest of wills. These are facts. When you want to self-improve, when you're on that journey of leveling up and being on your grind, you are going to have to sacrifice a lot of things. Your friends are going to be out partying and turning up and talking to girls and stuff like that. And you're going to be missing out on all of that because you're going to be busy putting your work in. You're going to be busy grinding. You're going to be busy putting in that work. But see, what you have to understand is that there is also an ultimate goal for your purpose, right? The reason that you're on your purpose as a man is so that you are able to have a family one day. And so that you are able to provide for your family one day. So that you're able to raise your sons to be strong men. So you can raise your daughters to be strong women. This is the purpose that God has set for us in the Bible. He tells us to be fruitful and multiply and he tells us to raise our children well. This is a man's core purpose to procreate and to take care of his uh, procreation, to procreate and to take care of his family, his wife and his kids. But when you choose your self-given purpose, when you choose your purpose over your family, that is when things start to get backwards. Because what you have to realize is that once you're on your purpose for so, so long to the point where you've already provided everything to your family, you've done everything for your family. When you get to the point where you're no longer in need, you no longer need to do uh, 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 certain things. When you get to the point where you've been away from your family because you've been on your purpose for so long. And then you continue to choose your purpose over your family. That is selfishness because it becomes harder to choose your family and those that you chose to bring into your life than your purpose. Because you've been on it for so long, you get addicted to that grind. This is exactly what Tom Brady has done. I cannot be like the Red Pill community and support Tom Brady for sticking on his choosing a purpose over his woman. See, we're not talking about the average guy that stops going to the gym because he gets a girlfriend. I'm not supporting that. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm never telling y'all to choose a woman over your purpose. But when you have a family, when you have a wife and kids, you have an obligation and a bigger purpose to take care of that family and that wife and kids. We're not talking about the average guy that skips leg day because he wants to go get with this girl. We're not talking about the average guy that goes out every weekend so that he can hook up with people and he's neglecting himself. We're not talking about that. We're talking about someone that has been on his grind for years and years and years and has already provided a means for his family, who has already chosen to go into retirement, to be with his family, and then chose to abandon them once more. Imagine that your father literally went to go chase his dreams halfway across the country or something like that, and just left you. He said he was gonna be back for good, then he just leaves you again. What kind of father is, it does that? How would you look at your dad when, when, when he did that to you? Of course you would be feeling some type of way because he abandoned those that he chose to bring into this world. That, that's what I can't understand. That's what I can't support. All these people, Tom Brady chose his purpose. Yeah. Well, the whole point of being on your purpose is so that you can take care of your family and continue your legacy that way. It's funny to me. Where's the logic? Tom, Tom Brady chose to marry that wife. Tom Brady chose to have kids with this wife. And now... All of a sudden, there are things more important than that, even though you've already gotten to the point where you're the best in the league, Tom. You're the GOAT, Tom. Go take care of your kids, Tom. Tom, go home. We don't need you no more. You already wanted to go home. What are you doing here in training camp? Fellas, what you have to realize is that there is a greater purpose to things, man. It's bigger than just the world, bro. Because whatever your purpose is, whether it's football, basketball, golf, let me tell you something right now. Your family is bigger than that. And the reason your family is bigger than that is because as much as you love whatever sport or whatever hobby or whatever it is that you do, as much as you love doing it, as much as you love doing it, it don't love you. All them accolades that these athletes get, la-da-da-da-da. But guess what? 
at some point, they all retired to come home and be with their families. Kobe, man, rest in peace. After years and years in the NBA, had a graceful retirement, came home and guess what? Started focusing on his family and his children. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what God calls you to do. After you have run your course, finishing your purpose, doing whatever it is that you need to do. Yeah, I, I'm not even just talking about ethics. You could be a construction worker. Once you've been a construction worker for long, and long, and long, and long, and long, you eventually retire. You've been a hardworking man all this time. You retire. It's time for you to rest. It's time for you to rest and spend time with those that you are obligated to spend time with. Raise the children that you are obligated to raise. But we've forgotten this because we see in the red pill community. That's why I can't associate with y'all no more because y'all so y'all y'all think y'all so woke and red pill that you have this mindset that every single woman is out to get you. You have this mindset that every single woman, even the one that you choose to marry, wants to knock you off your grind, knock you off your purpose. I cannot stand this slander of Tom Brady's wife. She has stood by his side for years and years and raised them kids for years and years supported him and allowed him to go and chase his dreams of becoming MVP, winning multiple Super Bowls. And now we want to slander her as if she's some kind of greedy woman just because she wants Tom to come home and spend time with him, just because she wants him to hold up on the commitment that she's been uh, holding up as well. Nah, I can't stand for that, bro. I can't stand for that. Nah, because that's just pure selfishness what Tom is doing. It would be one thing. Look, if Tom just kept going, he never retired. If he, if he never committed to retiring, that would be one thing. Because at that point, you know what I mean? He's still not done with his purpose. He's still doing his thing. Like, okay, fine, fine. But he already chose to come home once. And then he left again. That means that football is more important than the woman he chose to marry? Where's the logic in that? Football is more important than your kids? I don't know about that one, Tom. I'm kind of scratching my head at you right now. And if you don't understand this, then you probably got some growing up to do. Or you need to really get in your Bible and start reading and get closer to God, bro. Because I'm telling you right now, bro, playing football for an for, for infinite amount of time, bro, ain't going to get you nowhere. In the grand scheme of things, it means nothing. Your children are literally you, virgins of you. Why would you not want your bloodline and your legacy to continue? And, why, and, and not just continue, but you're supposed to be there and raise them kids, bro. You're supposed to raise them to teach them how to be good men. Teach your daughter how to be a good woman. How are you going to do that when you're away all the time, bro? How? Now, I'm not telling y'all to leave your purpose for a woman. I'm not telling y'all to be a simp or whatever, because I know that's probably what y'all... Cam, you telling us to be simps. I ain't telling you to be no simp, bro. There are There is a time and a place to choose your purpose over your woman. But when you've gotten to the point to where you have the means, you have you put food on the table, your whole family is going to be straight. You have generational wealth. And now you have the option to continue playing or stay with your family. And not just that, but your family is longing for you to be home. Your wife is telling you, please come home. I've been supporting you all this time for years and years by myself, going to all these games, supporting you. This is the thing about Giselle. We're not talking about some ratchet woman, bro. We're not talking about Steph Curry's wife who talking about she want attention from dudes, bro. Tom Brady's wife ain't never been in the news up until this point. She ain't never acted up on, on, on no social media. She's been silent. And I don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but for the most part, she's made things easy. She's been a loyal wife that don't act up and she's not in the media like that. And this is how she's repaid. Nah, man, I can't support that. I love when men are on their purpose, but not to the point when they have to abandon their family. Why do you think so many black men and women end up in the streets? Because their fathers are not present. How is this any different? How is it that the red pill community is supporting fathers abandoning their kids? Why you think it's so many black kids in the street? Why you think it's so many? Because they don't got their father. Because a man, can, uh, only a man can raise a man. A woman can't raise a man. So when your mama tries to raise you and get you up out the streets and teach you how to be a man, she can't do that. So you go out in the streets and you find father figures that's out here gang banging. And you think that's what being a man is. You think that being masculine is being a gangster. You think that being masculine is being a thug. That's why the black community is where it is, bruh. I'm just being real with you. Because we ain't got the father to tell us otherwise. He not there like that. 
I can't support what Tom Brady did, bro. Again, don't get me wrong, bro. I love, listen, bro. When it comes to a, a woman that's promiscuous versus your purpose, always choose your purpose. When it comes to your girlfriend versus your purpose, choose your purpose. Because if she's really your girlfriend and she really love you and, and, and you really dating to marry, bro, then you have to have means to take care of y'all. But don't forget that your purpose is also to your family. Your purpose is also owed to the woman that you choose to marry. It's not like no one forcing you to marry nobody. You chose to marry this woman. You made a commitment. Go read the Bible. Go argue with the Bible, not me. Kim, you're being blue pill. You're being blue pill. Well, then I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You think I'm being blue pill? Then shit. Go read the Bible, bro. Take that up with God, bro. Take that up with God because he told you to take care of your family. That, that's what he told you to do. He told you to work hard. He told you to work hard, but he didn't tell you to abandon your family to go to go have fun. The hardest things in life require sacrifice. So when you are doing things that are making you money that you love to do, when you love to do something and it's making you money, it's going to be hard to make that sacrifice and let it go to go take care of your kids. But it's something that you have to do. We're called to do. It's something that you must do. It's the most masculine thing that you could possibly do. There's nothing, nothing more masculine than a man that's there for his uh, wife and kids. Nothing more masculine than that. I can't respect what Tom Brady did. So I got for y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.